Do sharks sleep, and how? The question of whether sharks sleep or not has long been a topic of debate, especially as it's quite difficult to define what sleep is to a shark. However, as we've just discussed, sharks fall into two categories those that can stop swimming and those that can't, requiem and hammerhead sharks. Considering this, sleep is going to be different for these two categories of sharks. Although those that can't stop swimming are unlikely to fall into a deep sleep, in case they accidentally stop swimming, they do go seem to go through periods of being active and then less active. This points towards them being able to rest part of their brain while still being conscious enough to swim. On the other hand, it should be easier for sharks with spiracles to sleep as they can stop swimming. However, it's not entirely that easy. They can't just stop swimming to snooze wherever they feel like it because when sharks stop swimming they sink. This is because they lack a swim bladder. Although their large oil-filled livers provide some buoyancy, they aren't able to just float around. Instead, sharks rely on the movement of their pectoral and caudal, tail, fins to keep them afloat. Therefore, sharks that stop swimming to rest must do so at the bottom of the ocean. However, when they are awake and moving they generally breathe the same way as obligate ram ventilator sharks do, by swimming with their mouths open and pushing the water over their gills by motion. Sharks that live in the middle or top of the water column rarely have spiracles. This is because the seabed or coral reefs, where they would have to rest, are much deeper than their natural habitat. So, we've established that sharks do sleep, although it's more of a restful period than a truly deep sleep. Sharks with spiracles can rest on the seafloor to sleep while their spiracles continue to push water over their gills. This means that they can rest without having to worry about swimming to breathe. However, studies have shown that even when asleep they are still somewhat aware of prey and any potential threats that enter into their vicinity. They even sleep with their eyes open. However, as we mentioned above sharks like requiem sharks and hammerheads only enter into restful or less active periods to sleep as they have to remain in motion. This was long thought to be, sleep swimming, where they rest only part of their brain at a time. However, studies have shown that the action of swimming could be actually not be down to the brain at all. In fact, they believe that it is actually the spinal cord that causes sharks to swim. This means that those that have to swim to survive might actually indulge in pretty restful sleep while their body continues to swim regardless. This restful swimming is usually done facing into the current so that water enters their mouth with little effort. Another way that sharks sleep is through a method known as yo-yo swimming. This method is used when sharks are swimming long distances. Sharks swim towards the surface and then glide back down the water column without much swimming effort needed. This allows them to rest during the descent where they're not using as much effort. When do sharks sleep? Another question that often comes up when discussing how sharks sleep, is when they actually sleep. Do they sleep just when they're tired? Or is their sleep pattern defined by day and night like ours is? The truth is that shark sleep is actually dependent on their circadian rhythm. Rather than sleeping during the day and being awake during the night, nocturnal, or the reverse, most, although not all, Sharks have no strict preference for day or night. Instead, they sleep when their instincts tell them to. However, as we've already learned that sharks sleep is simply periods of rest compared to active periods, they actually go through many of these periods in a 24 hour period. Therefore, it's actually really difficult to know how often sharks sleep and just how much rest they get when they do.